Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I wanna to talk about developer mode and focus. All right, so today I'm a little bit late releasing the video because all day long I have been in developer mode. I have been head down, focused, working on a project that I have to get done for a client and I've been trying to get it done all week. So right now it's uploading to test flight so they could test it out on Monday, but I, I needed that, that focus and that time with no distractions in order to work on it. So most of the time when we work on projects, I hire other developers to work on it and I will work with the client. But every so often we'll get a project where I'll think, dude, I'd like to work on this one myself. So we have a game that, to do for a client and I thought, I want to do this one. First of all, I love doing games and games are much more, they're much more iterative. So you, you, even though you can specify them really well in the beginning, it, it takes a while to say, okay, that, that level's too fast, that one's too slow, that sprite is moving too quickly, that kind of stuff. So I thought, I just want to work on this one myself, and it's not a very big project. And as soon as I said I was going to do it, uh, a member of my team said, are you sure you're going to be able to work on this project? Because you seem to be really busy all the time. And I was like, I was like, yeah, yeah, I could work on this project. Yeah, I just block some time. I'll just, it's a scheduling issue. I'll just schedule some time to do it. And it's here we are on a Saturday and I'm in on a Saturday working on it so I can have that time to focus. You see, a lot of times if you run a small company or if you work with clients and you are a developer as well, you know that there are two different modes of working. You have Batman and you have Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is, he, he could talk the talk and Batman can walk the walk, right? When you're Bruce Wayne, you're working with the clients, you're like, everything's, you know, you're very approachable, people could talk to you, everything could go on, but when you're Batman, you're focused. You have to get on with the code. You have to sit down and block the rest of the world out. And throughout the, my entire developer career, it's one of the most difficult things that I find to do. I find it difficult to explain to someone that, hey, you are very important to me, what you're saying is very important, but I really need to focus on this. And even though you'll be met with stuff like, oh yeah, no, no, I know, I, I get that you need to focus, I just need to ask you this one thing, or I just need to do this one thing, or I just, you know, or the phone's ringing or whatever. So there was a, a couple of days this week where I just turned the rest of the world off. I turned off my phone, closed the email, to do not disturb on the Mac and I just thought I'm just gonna sit down and work on things and even then people have a way to get through to you right one of the reasons why I moved into an office was because it was very difficult to get people to to understand that as a software developer it requires a level of focus and concentration sometimes that most jobs probably don't have I mean every job requires a bit of focus and concentration but sometimes when you're deep into the code and you're trying to solve an issue if somebody asks you one question or pulls you out of that zone it could take you a long time to get back into it if you get back into it at all right and it's difficult sometimes for for your children to understand this, it's difficult sometimes for your coworkers to understand it, for your boss to understand it, for your partner to understand it, but <laughs> it's difficult to explain. It's like, hey, I'm not saying you're not important, I'm just saying I really need to sit down and I've got eight zillion variables going on in my head and I need to bring them all together and close this thing off and get it uploaded to test flight before it all goes <laughs> Right, very, very difficult. And one of the things about working in an office is having some place where you just have a place to go and you don't have to have that conversation. I, I don't wanna have that conversation with anybody anymore saying, look, I'm sorry, I just can't, I just can't be interrupted. In fact, earlier this week, somebody phoned me because I hadn't turned my phone off and I answered the phone and they said, Eric, you sound like you're a bit pissed off. I was like, no, 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 I'm just quickly, what, what does he need to do? I just have to get back to what I'm doing because I was like trying to get done what I'm doing. Right, it's very difficult, you know, because you wanna be, when you're in customer service, when you're client service, everything is very much, yeah, ask me what you want, yeah, we, I'm willing to work with you, whatever, and then there's times where you just go dark, you just go missing, right? You go undercover, uh, especially if you're doing the code yourself, which, you know, maybe I shouldn't have taken on this project myself. So anyway, when I'm in developer mode, and I know this sounds a bit s stupid, right? I, I like to wear clothes that are comfortable. I like to come in and I don't sit up like this. Like I've seen people work in different ways, like working in a coffee shop, hunched over a laptop, 
me, this is my, my whole career, like when I really want to focus is the headphones on and just, and I get low, I get way back and slouch down and just, this is my perfect developer mode, right? Not sitting up, not attentive, just almost like I could fall asleep and then everything else off. Now there's times when you're developing where you need to really focus and you've got lots of APIs to connect to or some sort of algorithm to do and you really just really need to focus on it. There's other times where you're just basically drawing forms on a page, you're just moving things over, two pixels over here, two pixels over here, and then you know, you'd be watching YouTube videos at the same time. In fact, there's one project I did, I think I watched the entire West Wing box set on DVD just working on this one project because I was just like, a lot of the stuff didn't require concentration. I just have one screen up with that on the background where I'm kind of half listening to it, half watching it, and I'm half focused on something else and you know, just kind of the way that I work. But it's a keen distinction about being a software developer that sometimes you need those that time, at least at least four hours to go and just block the rest of the world out. Turn off your phone, turn off everything, and it could be insulting to a lot of people, so it's better not even to have that. I, I don't even like to have that conversation anymore, right? It could be insulting to them that they don't feel that they're important enough to you, but you're like, I just, I can't do that. So, you know, have to block the rest of the world out and then tell them you're ill, tell them you're on vacation, tell them something else. But anyway, let me know if you guys, if those of you guys who are software developers and you write the code yourself and you work with clients or you have family or whatever, do you have these kind of situations where you have a difficulty explaining to people that you have to go into developer mode, you have to go into focus, you have to shut the rest of the world out, or is it just me? So anyway, that is it for today. I will talk to you guys again next time.